Hey Fly Tires, welcome back. I'm Matt, thanks for stopping by the channel. Now I've got a pretty fun video for you today. If you've been tying flies for any number of years, or if you're even a new tire, you'll quickly realize how expensive fly tying materials can be. So I wanna show you one way you can save some money. If you've got a big box craft store in your hometown, like a Michaels or an AC Moore, maybe a Hobby Lobby, and if you don't have these stores, you can certainly shop with them online. Now you can get a lot of fly tie materials at these craft stores. So let me just show you some of the things that I picked up at my local Michaels this past year. So first off, yarns. These stores are full of yarns. You can get a skein of this yarn, um, the Red Heart for about $4. And a lot of times they even have sales where it's buy one, get one for half off. So what all can you use this yarn for? Well, you can make dubbing. We did a video on the DIY dubbing a little while ago. I'll link to that one at the end of this video. But one of the other things you can do is you can use this yarn for you know straight up bodies, certainly for streamers and some wet flies. And what I'll pick up is one of these things right here, floss organizer. This thing is $3. Not sure how many compartments it has, but it comes with 50 of these plastic bobbins here. And what I'll do, I'll take a lot of my yarns and chenilles and anything stringed material, and I'll wrap it around one of these bobbins and just put it in here for a nice convenient place to store it. So for less than $10, you can get one of these containers and then a couple of skeins of yarn and just make years worth of dubbing and yarn body material. And you can get this yarn in you know, acrylic uh, for making your synthetic dubbings, or you can get it in wool for making a natural dubbing. Now, speaking of wool dubbing, this is one of the most convenient things they have here. This is called needle felting. Um, and it's, uh, these are called roving rolls. I'm not really sure what that means, but this one pack right here for about $6 has 12 different colors and it's 100% wool. So what you can do is just pluck out some of this wool, whatever color you want, and then dub it straight onto your thread. What's really cool about this stuff, it comes in several different colors. This is the earth tones, but you can get it in bright colors. You can get it in pastels. So for about 10 or $12 worth of this material, you could make so much dubbing. You could make virtually any color you can imagine. Now you could use it straight off of these rolls or you could put it in your coffee grinder and then blend it up and put it in one of your little dubbing boxes. It's a very convenient and very cheap way to make years worth of dubbing. Now next, for some of the great materials you can get at craft stores, is craft fur. You've probably seen this. These are just uh, various patches of craft fur. We've got a black and a white and then a brown right here. These are $3 each. Now this is actually a pretty big pelt, and it certainly beats trying to trap your own craft, then you gotta skin it and treat the hide. And this fur isn't just used for big saltwater or bass bugs, you can use it for plenty of trout flies. Think of the Clouser minnow tied in the smaller sizes. This stuff is perfect for that. Now the next great deal you can get from a craft store are feathers. Take this marabou right here, you can get this in these crazy bright colors, you can get it in some natural colors, and these packs are about $3 each. Now you've also got pheasant feathers. These are basically all the feathers you'd get from a ringneck skin. You've got some of the church windows, some of the blue, gray, some of the marabou in here. Also, $3 for this big pack right here. And they even sell some of the flight feathers from the ringneck pheasant. Now let's talk about goose and duck feathers. They've got various packs here, probably two dozen feathers. Uh, these look like duck for, um, you know, $3 for this big pack right here. You can get them in crazy dyed colors right here. I've got a, a pack right here of just red and blacks. Now note, these aren't the best quality feathers and you might have to search around to, to mix and match to get a right and a left of the same color. But for a couple of bucks, you can get quite a few winged wet flies out of these guys. Now they do sell turkey feathers. You can get turkey marabou or some of the, the uh, primary flight feathers. They don't really have any of the big fancy uh, tail feathers of the turkey, but you can make some wings and some you know wing cases out of these turkey feathers. Now let's talk about peacock. You can get some of these eyes that have the, the peacock hurls in it for about $3. And you can get a pack of these sword feathers right here, which is I think also $3 for six different feathers. So you can get a whole lot of peacock swords for just a couple dollars here as well. Oh, one other feather I forgot to mention is guinea. They've got lots of guinea. You can get it in these dyed colors right here or some natural colors. And they have some guinea flight feathers. These make great wings right here for some really classic old school wet flies. Now the next thing I wanna mention that you can get tons of at the craft store is foam. Uh, foam for any of your body, your hoppers. A big packet like this right here is about 
You might have to look around a little bit, make sure you get some of the natural colors, some blacks and browns, but I do a lot of yellows and some greens in here. I don't tie a lot with blue and purple, but I have tied some crazy hoppers and Chernobyl ants with these funky colors. Just make sure you don't get the adhesive backed foam. You don't want that. So one of the next things you can get at the craft store are glass beads. So this pack of glass beads right here, various sizes, various colors. I think this was $12 and it's probably more glass beads than you know I may ever need. They also have a big tub kind of like this, which I think this is measured by the pound. Uh, there's a million beads in here. And sometimes I'll just take my hook, swipe it through here and see what bead comes out of it and say, hey, let's try a fly with this. And you've also got uh, individual packs of beads right here. These are not glass. I think these are just a pearl looking, probably a plastic, but this was probably $2 for 1,100 beads, 1,100 beads. Now, I'll never go through all these, but I have tied a few streamers with these cool heads on them. In a nutshell, there are really some great buys you can get from a craft store. Just a couple of other things, some miscellaneous things. I found this foam wheel. Now, I didn't have any idea what this was for. It turned out it's for making friendship bracelets, but I use it to just put flies in it to either let them dry or, or store them until I put them in my box. And a, a four pack of these foam wheels was $4. So that's a pretty decent buy right there. You can also get the thread racks like this or the one you see behind me. I think I got that one actually from Walmart, but it's a, you know, 12 to $15. You can store a lot of threads and it's a pretty convenient tool to have. So that's really it, folks. I encourage you to take a look at your uh, local craft stores, uh, see what kind of bargains for fly tie materials you can get. Now, I do want to say that I really encourage you to support your local fly shops. And if you're like me and don't have a local fly shop, then support your fly shops online, just like Jay Stockard or the Caddis Fly Shop or the Fly Shack. I love shopping at these places. And that's where I get most of my stuff. But I also know that fly tie materials can get pretty expensive. So there's nothing wrong with looking around for a bargain that can help you in your tying. All right, everybody. I hope you got something out of this. I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.